Hi, I'm Louise Fletcher, abstract artist and teacher, and today I want to talk to you about what it means to follow intuition in your artwork. So you often hear artists talk about following intuition, and you might wonder, what does that look like for me? And I always find it hard to explain this to people, but I think I can show you with what I'm currently working on. So let me flip the camera around, just show you what's on my studio wall at the moment, and then I'll come back and explain what I think it means. So I've come back to this idea over and over again, and what I'm doing is layering paint, collage paper, and then sanding or scraping or removing the paint in various ways. So you can see I'm adding a new layer now. This one is in very neutral colors. Same for this one, mostly but I've added in quite a, a bit of blue now and some little bits of yellow and some brown and some black and just may build up some more colour on this one. Now, when I started this, I was using personal papers, things that we've hoarded over the years. Old bank statements, old letters, old cards, old maps anything that was hours and tickets for things. But then I became drawn to adding vintage papers onto here. I love the textures of vintage papers. Here is an old post office telegraph, telegram, which is telling somebody that somebody's died and to come to the funeral. Here is, uh, these are pages. This is pages from an old farmer's journal that I bought at a junk shop. These are old gift tags. This is a piece of a map that I've stuck it on backwards because I love the old paper on the back of these old maps. And so now it's a combination of my papers and these vintage papers of random lives of people from all over the world. At first, when I was doing this, I didn't understand why I'm doing it. I love it. I love the way it looks. I love what it makes me think of. I'm not fooling myself. This is commercial artwork, but I absolutely love it. And if I saw this in a gallery, I would spend hours looking at this, trying to decipher what's in here. So it becomes like this excavation process of, of deciphering. But what is it all about? Why am I doing this? So let me flip you around and tell you what I think. So this idea, as I mentioned, to, to stick down these papers, to collage them on and then layer them with paint and then sand them back, it's been with me for a while. I previously did it on some landscape painting, some abstract landscapes. So the background to the abstract landscape was all this collaged vintage paper layered and then sanded. But after that series was finished, the nudge to do that was still there. I still felt the urge to do more of that. That was my favorite part of the whole process. And this is what it means to follow intuition. Because at that point, I could have said to myself, but you don't know why you want to layer these papers and send them back. So it'll be a waste of time. But the thing is, when we follow our intuition, we mostly don't know what the point is or where we're going. If we trust and just do the thing, it will start to make sense. And so as I started to collage and build up these backgrounds with my own personal documents and papers, then I wanted to layer in these vintage papers and I wanted to combine the two and I didn't know why again, but I just did it and I kept layering and I kept painting over and I kept sanding back and then it all dawned on me. So I love to go and walk around old churchyards. I love to go in vintage shops, but I'm always drawn to the things with a personal element. So journals someone's written in, ledgers someone's scribed in, old photo albums of families, I'll never know who they are. Those are the things that pull at me because I'm really interested in our personal histories, whoever we are. And I love the context it brings me. If I walk through a graveyard and everyone's dead, I always think about all their loves and losses and tears and joys and how it all came to this. And that might seem really ghoulish, but actually to me it's comforting to think whatever it is that might be stressing me at that moment, these people had stresses too and it's all gone now. So there's really no point in really letting it eat me up. 
And so this process now is allowing me to put my own personal history in context with other people's personal histories. And I buy ephemera from eBay, so it's quite random. And I, it's that combination that I'm interested in. It's that perspective. It's that sense of history. And so it's not really about me as I thought it was initially. It's about all of us. It's about our lives. And I don't, I could take that in so many directions now. So I need to do some journaling. I keep a studio journal where I make notes about what I'm thinking about. My intuition can never lead me wrong because it's always coming from deep inside me. And as artists, we should always be following what's deep inside us. So the reason I wanted to make this video was to say, whatever your equivalent of collage and papers and layering them with no idea why you're doing it is, whatever your equivalent to that is, go do it. Don't question yourself. Don't tell yourself real artists don't do this. Other people don't do this. The artists I like do something different. Just follow the things that your soul is trying to tell you because they will lead you to something that makes deep personal sense to you. And that is what the best art does. It's not about what somebody might like, what might sell, what our brother-in-law might be impressed by, what our spouse might like. It's about what's inside here and what wants to come out of you because that is what making art is all about. If you like this video, do like, do subscribe. And also in the links below in the description, check my newsletter link, sign up. I send an artist newsletter every week on a Sunday just with my thoughts, what's going on in my studio, any ideas I've had, inspiration, and a little bit of teaching. Anyway, if you like this, leave a comment, hit subscribe, and I'll see you around. Take care. Bye.